Uh, let's now try to flash uh, the executable into our microcontroller. So we will use uh, OpenOCD to do that. It's an open source tool uh, to flash firmware. So before we do uh, uh, OpenOCD, uh, we will have to create a configuration file for OpenOCD. Let's call it OpenOCD.CFG. And inside the OpenOCD.CFG, we will uh, need uh, these two codes, uh, statements. This is uh, usually going to uh, look into your system and find these files out. Uh, so uh, this uh, here on the bottom part of my screen, I have terminal. We can open another separate terminal and uh, insert queries, uh, but VS Code makes it uh, easier for me that I have uh, the source code here. I can display the files and open it, and then I can issue commands from the command line. So, for example, let's say, you know, you know, this is showing how what all files exist on my current folder, my current working directory. So, and we can see locate. So, this particular uh, ST link uh, configuration uh, file is present in. Um, here as well as here. This is uh, from inside OpenOCD installation. So these scripts finds out uh, all the relevant configuration and we can then use it uh, you know, in our make file or uh, as an input to OpenOCD. Okay, so let's edit our uh, make file. We will have another command, uh, something, something like uh, flash flash and the command would be open OCD hyphen F we are giving a configuration file open OCD dot CFG and we will program it's the name of our program Verify, reset, exit. Okay, and we have to add this. They're not funny. Let's see. Okay. Make flash. All right. So we are able to uh, flash our microcontroller. Let's uh, take a look at microcontroller so it's not doing anything it's not supposed to do anything we haven't instructed it so we will uh, now trace it uh, using uh, a debugger uh, GDB and we will see that uh, the code has gone in the microcontroller and is executing as we expect